Mike is next. He says, how do you actually use driving directions map for SEO? Uh, well, there are ways to, it's just to add local relevancy, right? I mean, think about it. If typically for a point of sale business, which is a, a storefront business, a business where customers come to the business location, then it would make sense if you were trying to rank in with for in the local maps pack, the three pack for like very close uh, in proximity areas or locations. So like adjacent towns, for example, then so uh, let's say you're the only like you have a business that's the only business in uh, for, or in in you know three or four towns in surrounding towns. Even if it's not the only business, if you want to try to get your listing your maps listing to rank when somebody's searching for like an adjacent town so whatever your keyword service keyword is plus um the location modifier and it's an adjacent town well one of the ways that you can try to get ranked in there is to have you know add that local relevancy from that area to the location where you're physically located so in that case a driving directions map would be good to like create posts or pages on the site or just content that talks about the area that you want to rank in with a driving direction map from there to your store location, right? Because again, it's just about, it's Google code. Google's gonna come read the page and it's gonna see a driving directions map. There's gonna, it's gonna see content on the page about that particular location, right? The location that you'd like to rank in. And then it's gonna see a driving directions map from that location to your business address, right? And so there's a reason, uh, it's just a way to feed additional relevancy into Google is to like location relevancy, excuse me. Now, the opposite would be for service area businesses, right? So for service area businesses, you go from the business, like the business goes to the customer location. And that's typically how most of my projects are set up because I deal with contractors primarily. And so <clears throat> on, on those, even if you have the, the uh, physical location hidden, you would still just go grab the city center and do driving directions from the city center where the business is physically located and the driving directions would be to from that location to the customer locations, which would be just city centers of the locations that you'd like to rank in. That's pretty much the easy high over level or excuse me, um, high level overview of how you can use it. Now, there's a lot more that can be done than just that, but uh, we can't certainly get into all of that. And uh, here on Hump Day Hangouts, but that's a, that's a good question. And, and again, if we're driving directions. Um, Driving directions are really just a great way to add additional location relevancy to pages and or posts. Okay. It's it's something that, that we get into, uh, and I did a, a webinar, a separate webinar, just to show people how to take advantage of driving directions, and that's in RYS Reloaded. It, it's one of the webinars where we cover this on how to use it uh, for SEO. Yeah. 